Um, he actually, unfortunately, lived in past Christian, Mississippi, which had the highest storm surge ever recorded in the United States, uh, 20 feet. Um, and he was elsewhere. He was in a, he was in a, a, a shelter in, in Biloxi. But um, his house was destroyed, and, and he, a few weeks later, asked me if he should rebuild his home. And uh, I didn't know the answer. He was asking sort of, is this going to, we can keep getting bad hurricanes like this. And, and should I, you know, because once you, if you lose your home, obviously you don't, it's very painful and, and you certainly don't want to do it again. So he, so I started talking to climate scientists and reading the literature and uh, going to seminars. And that's when I realized the situation was more dire than I thought. And scientists weren't doing a good job of communicating. And then I became, uh, I decided I would, I would uh, be, try to become a full-time communicator. And I ended up uh, uh, at the Center for American Progress, which was doing a lot of blogs back then. This was 2006. And I, I launched a blog uh, called Climate Progress, which is probably how most people.